Hello everyone and welcome back to Gaycho Crafts. I'm Sarah Scully and I have some new uh, dye experiments to share with you. Um, three actually coming up. Um, but today I wanted to talk about um, an, a brand new one that I'd never done before and that's dyeing with butternut hulls. Um, so butternut is a variety of hardwood tree that grows in Vermont um, and I think throughout New England. Unfortunately, it's become endangered. It was over harvested, um, you know, hundreds of years ago. And for, for its timber, um, it makes beautiful furniture. And so there aren't very many butternut trees left. Um, but my neighbor fortunately has a small stand of them on his property. And um, butternuts are edible and uh, he really likes to eat the, the nuts, gather and eat the nuts. Um, but he's always interested in what I'm doing on the farm. And so we got to talking about natural dye one day and I mentioned dyeing with walnut hulls. And he wondered if the butternut hulls would also work. Um, so he gave me a bunch, um, two you know, canisters full of spent butternut hulls. And um, today was the first day. It's you can see it's a gorgeous day, and this morning um, I decided to get those out and and give them a try. Um, so I didn't do anything uh, very complicated um, to get the the dye to work. I just took the hulls and boiled them for about 45 minutes in hot water, um, and then strained them to get all the little chunks and bits and pieces out, and returned that strained dye bath to the heat, um, added yarn, and let that cook for another 45 minutes or so. Um, and we got this beautiful sort of mellow cappuccino color. Um, it's a lot lighter than uh, the walnut that I've dyed in the past. A walnut, um, you can get almost a, a, a dark brown that's so dark it's almost black. Um, with the butternut, and it may be because I didn't crush up the hulls, I just put them in so they were they were halved, uh, most, of, most of them. Um, so I may not have gotten as much uh, dye out of them as I could have, but I actually like the color and the tone that they came out. Um, it, it's very pretty and it's, you know, it's a beautiful soft neutral. I think it'll go with a lot of other colors and be a great base, uh, maybe for a shawl or something like that. I've been thinking about doing a place-based um, shawl, and I might I might talk about that in a future episode. But basically, using colors that come from our local landscape, and then thinking about um, a shawl or some other design to, to make with that. Um, so again, butternut's very easy. Um, you'll notice I didn't mention mordanting the yarn. Um, Part of that is because I can't remember if I mortared in the yarn or not, so I had yarn in two bags, and I thought one had um, been treated with alum before, but um, so I grabbed a skein from each of these bags and put them both into the dye pot, and I can't tell you if there's a noticeable dis difference because the yarn is still drying. So I'll take a picture when they're all dry and post those on Instagram. You can follow us at Gage Hill Crafts and I'll let you know kind of the, the very end result. Um, but I don't think that uh, you would necessarily have to mordant this yarn. Um, nut hulls in general do contain a natural tannin and that can act as its own mordant. mordant. So I think you would be pretty safe to not mordant um, yarn when you're dyeing with walnut or butternut or other hard nut um, hulls. So if you've tried butternut or walnut or other hardwood um, type of nut uh, hulls for dyeing yarn, I'd love to hear about your experiments. Please leave a message in the, the comments on this video or go to the blog post and I will post uh, a little bit more detail about each of our dye experiments in the blog and I'll link to that entry um, below this video as well so you can find those notes later and um, find some kind of after pictures of, of how the yarn turned out. Thanks so much for joining us and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're enjoying my natural dye experiments or um, interviews with other fiber crafters and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers!